In this video, I just purchased Ron's acrylic paintings from Daz. Just want to do something with these with a character. And in some of these, you can even see, I don't know, to my eye, I see a face here. You know, a couple eyes, nose, you know, mouth could be here or it could be a chin with a mouth here. Even this one, I kind of see eyes here, a nose, mouth. And I'm thinking maybe in Daz, create a figure that's posed like this and have it look like it coming out of this image or it blurring into it. I don't know. Once I get to Photoshop, we'll see how it how it goes. Even here, kind of kind of like facing down. Could be like like teeth here, nose, part of an eye. You know, just one of those things where your eye sees something in random images yeah this one even could look like water with like some type of creature yeah let's try this one acrylic nine i'll show you i did i did mess around with uh this one here and i didn't record it because i was just goofing around and then i got carried away and then it turned out nice of course so let's go up to my pictures my posters here and i'll show you what i did and what you can see is I had a bunch of skulls and pretty much I just loaded up all my uh, Ron's brushes, my Ron skull brushes, and then just use them different layer styles, either diffuse, set, you know, um, screen, overlay, lighten. Some of these were black. Some of these I put in as white. I mean, I pretty much, you can see one here, one here. I think there's one here that I kind of erased part of the skull here. There's a whole bunch right in here. You can just see them all through here. And it just, oh, there's another one right here. It just turned out pretty cool. So I figured, well, let's try something else with a actual character. And let's get into here. And what we're gonna start off with is I'm gonna do a backdrop. We're gonna browse for that one here. And I said it was what, nine? Yep, there we go. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to change the dimensions of the camera to match the layout of the image itself. And I'm not going to be exact. So, let's say I got 25. So, let's change this. It's, all right, so it's 5550 by 7200. There we go. Okay, so got the same aspect. Let's turn it on. <clears throat> I don't want to go that big. So... Let's drop this down to four. There we go. And I still keep the same, same, same ratio. Let's grab, let's see what I got monster wise. Maybe something with a flat head. And then this will be the front of it kind of facing downwards. And I don't know what figure it'll be. If it'll be an eight or a three or two or even a, a original Genesis. Let's start off with eight and see what I have. It's going to, yeah, it'll probably be a male. So characters. All right, there we go. That looks good. Crypt was who's that? Crypto. I, I think that'll be perfect. Supreme intelligence, but that head's too, too rounded. All right, so we got crypto in eight. Let's see if I have anything in. Three. Now I got the reptile. Let's see what raw art I have. Oh, wither. That's zombie. Scorpio. Oh, that's a. Might work too, with especially with these horns. Now let's put it in, see what it looks like. I can only delete it, and oh, that was a whole scene, so I lost my background. All right, um, camera ratio stayed the same. Let's see what we got poses. All right, so let's bring that background back. I think right about there. I wish. Oh, you know what? I think I can uh, grab him. And let's reduce opacity just so I can see through it. Uh, oh, that's kind of creepy looking, huh? What the heck is it? Oh, that's his tongue right there. Okay. All right, I was wondering what. Jeez. About right here will do it. Yeah, there we go. I think that'll turn out just fine. All right. And in uh, my render settings, go to environment. I want the dome off. I want ground off. And I'm because I just want to render it as a PNG with just an alpha background. 
I'm going to get rid of this backdrop. Something that'll create a blue white gel. So it's actually a plane with a cutout and then the lights go through it. Okay, there's my acrylic, the tiling. Cutout's going bye-bye. Emissive is going to be my acrylic. Let's do a headlamp off, even though I'm going to render it from the perspective camera for right now. Let's see what we get. I didn't even check to see if the character was Iray. I was in there and wasn't even paying attention. Let's take a look at him. Yeah, he's Iray. Okay, very nice. All right, gels. My plane, it's temperature. I can even get a little more cooler. We're going to up the luminance. Well, let's go to kilometers and then we'll reduce it. Yeah, see, then we get crazy. Smaller number, I can fine tune number by number, but this large is good. Let's drop it down. Okay, we get a little bit. See some of the texture. All right, let's add a. All right, let's just hop into it, and that'll be one of my spotlights. Oh, let's get out of it. So, all right, let's create a spotlight. Let's hop into it. There we go. That's what I want to do. Down underneath it, and let's go into the lights. I wanted I wanted a dark blue, and then the other side will come in with a white. It's such a small frame being so close as it is. So there's the head. Let's see what kind of poses that are even noticeable. I think I'm gonna have to adjust the you know, shrink this a little bit just just to fit this part of it because it's actually coming back a little further. I don't really want to zoom in. I'm almost curves down a little bit more, but we can just, or I can just uh, tweak it a little bit, or maybe use the warp tool and for Photoshop and warp the uh, image somewhat to match the outline of the head. Some or not, we'll see what happens. A lot of times, I, I want to do something, I forget all about doing it once I'm in there, and something else happens. And I go a different route. We're gonna save it. This is the only last thing I might do is change the intensity of the geoplane, but I don't. No, nah, I don't think I have to. You're getting that blend in here. No, oh, it doesn't. Doesn't enlarge. Oh, there we go. So yeah, it kind of affects it in a real, uh, real smooth you know blended light I don't know how to you know make it sharper where you actually see the lines kind of like a water and I think that would be more of having uh you know having this the white and then having everything else really dark having it black like an alpha and then using it as a mask and then having a blue light shoot in from behind it which is kind of what the gel shell the uh the gel light was doing white he's really he's kind of reddish on the legs you got the blue over here turn this other light here let's let's just pick another random color i'm just curious how it lights up the because actually the opposite would actually be uh, instead of red brightening that up so let's see what that does that lights it kind of gives them a, a shiny metallic scale look where the light is hitting move my mouse over without him glowing so yeah it kind of has like a metallic -y scale look almost a greenish here looks sharp edge along here let's soften this up yeah we still got the edge right through here Right angle, intensity. All right, he's got good texture, so you can really tell what it is. The teeth are really, really in shadow. 
Yeah, you can still make out what it is. Alright, yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna render it out like this. See what happens. My render settings, I'm gonna have it render ten thousand samples for seventy two hundred seconds. Render on well, this should be fine because it's pretty well lit, so I'm not gonna get too many artifacts, otherwise I would turn this to, uh, turn max I uh, turn it to fifteen thousand. I would turn this to zero and I would turn this off just so it ran forever. But I think this will be fine. Click render. Okay, I finished the render and I, I created a second render of a, a, a depth map. So we can kind of keep this in focus and blur out the legs and a little bit. Of so let's open up what we have. So let's open up my um, number nine here. All right, let's open up my renders. There's the creature with the lights. Came out nice. Let's open up my depth of field thing. It creates a folder. Here we go. And I just got to convert it to 16 bits. There we go. They're pretty similar in color. So let's uh, let's adjust this some. Um, and make the head really dark. And then the background light. Create an adjustment layer on it. Let's see what we can get. If we can... Have some strange. I really want. There we go. Because I want the top of the head the most in focus, because that's the closest. And then the legs further away. Want them more white. Okay, there we go. Copy. We gotta put an alpha channel in. So let's paste it in there. Oh, I left the red on. That's what happened. All right, so there's our layers. Yeah, it's a little lost a little bit of the top of the head here. So we're gonna let's color pick it. Go back up here to my soft brush. Well, it ain't gonna matter because it's actually in the alpha. Wrong with that, but that's not me. So okay, so let's control all. Let's copy this image. Let's put it into our image here. It doesn't have the alpha, so let's do the channel. So when you create one, it's always going to be an alpha. There we go. You can hide that. We don't really need it. So we're going to go here. Now we're going to go to lens blur. Already picked it. So the alpha source is the blur map. Invert it here and see what. Remember, invert if the white's closer, the black's further away. This kind of is going to invert it anyways as I change the focal distance. Cancel this. Let's go to our image here. We're going to invert it. I lost some of the, so we're going to take the, take the alpha here. And I lost some of my depth. So, so let's change the levels because I, or not curves, I mean gray centered here. There we go. So let's get this. I mean, I want the black to stay black. I want to bring out the whites. There we go. Merge these layers. Control copy. I'm going to paste it into my alpha. There we go. Back to him. Okay, so now let me. Go back into blur, lens blur. Turn off this invert thing. Actually, head's blurry and the legs are fine. So let's invert it. There we go. Yeah, so Daz runs an opposite of what is needed for uh, Photoshop. Photoshop wants the white closest, uh, the darker further away. Daz happens to render it create the channel opposite looks pretty good i don't think i need to change it just a little bit more okay looks good so we're going to okay this that channel all together all right there we go so we got nice and blur so let me grab for that let's open up my acrylic here we're going to paste a few paste it on here a few times because it was in scale or in ratio, I'm going to hold my shift key down and bring it into just so it touches the right side here. 
and then I'm gonna bring it up and we should have should fill the complete area there we go the opacity it looks pretty good that part flows right around the edge of the mouth this comes down so now that we have it we're going to duplicate it a couple times here let's put one below the image and we're going to hide this one and i'm going to blur this one out until it matches the blur of the leg that looks good all right so we got that come back up to this layer and bring it up and we're going to make this an overlay and we're going to create a mask on it i'm going to take the black here Put on that and what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring out everything in the circles here so we see what's underneath a little bit and grab some of the horn here same within here I'm getting rid of some of the making some of the white disappear just from the black and if I want to bring it back I just go white and then what I'm gonna do is I can just paint it back in it's coming back duplicate this again because I forgot duplicate layer I delete this mask there we go this one I'm going to do a soft light on it I'll bring it down a little bit there we go and what we're going to do on this mask is take the black increase the brush size and what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this so we see the blurry one behind it only up until this point here darn it I actually if you see over here on the image I actually was painting on the image so I'm gonna click on here and I want to go black there we go because it was actually brightening brightening it instead of just erasing it so we see the blur underneath it come in here let's come around actually one of my image maps is off everything lines up I got an edge here so I'm gonna have to crop that off back here and let's go white let's start bringing some of this back here these and it almost looks like it's seated or visible so I know we'll add a we'll add some fog there give it something in this area here some of this I didn't even erase with the black so this isn't gonna paint no paint white whites not doing it won't do anything to brighten up some of that I'm gonna there to brighten that up we're gonna create another layer and really brighten some of these areas up so we're gonna create this is gonna be an overlay again this is gonna be a neutral gray here with this what we can use or what I can use is the uh, dodge and burn so this will allow me to up turn it black so this will allow me to darken up some of the dark spots and then using the um, using the dodge tool will allow me to lighten up some of the spots so let me let me we're kind of just darken a little bit here. This is a reason, just the uh, spots that catch my eye that I want to darken. Don't want to do too much back here because we want the face to stand out. All right, that's good. So let's go to our dodge tool here. Increase the size and let's brighten some of this white up here. And then if we do off side off him or it it'll kind of blend it all in because there's some sharp edges right here 
some of it's the texture to the original render and some of it's to the to the acrylic the blue sharp light that was along the side here really adds some color to the acrylic so we'll hide that so there's the overlay with the mask just to bring out what's behind it we must just add color and this brings out the darks and the lights and then he's gone completely I mean blended in there really nice with just the flow of what was in the original image and then if I bring out the blur you can you can see this part of the um, um, this you know that's only coming from here and that's strictly just lighting it say okay oh let's add a little bit of smoke or fog through here some brushes um to, to that let's go back in don't need smoke stacks here's a layered let's decrease the size a little bit I just want it, I just want it the width of the head. There we go, like that. Okay. I think I deleted my alpha, which I could you could have used right now. There it is. Here. Draw my selection. Cause what I want to just want to. Uh, I'm gonna grab the white. Let's increase this 32. A little bit too much. There we go. I just want that there, and part of the horn. So let's. So let me lasso tool. Let's hit Alt. I want to remove this part that was selected. There we go. So I just want this. So it's selected. Let's grab this layer, hit delete, and delete the uh, fog that's over the top of the head. Let's hide it. All. And you can see an edge here. So let's on screen and see if so we can add something else. You see, I, ha I do have some smoke. For reason. Even though I'm going to load this into, even though I'm going to load this into the brush set, it won't show up in here ever. So there's some goofy, there's some that do that and I'm always, you know, forget I have it and go load it because it's not showing up here, which is odd and I don't know why. All right, and there's a curved, let's draw ice too. Let's see what this one does. This one's a little too much too. Let's fill because I don't want to lose the. Nah, I don't. I don't think it's needed. Tell you the truth go in and see if it does anything with the lighting yeah there we go brings out the whites no oh, it's an overlay okay so it's a bright color over what I did here in this uh... that does look pretty good let's go back and see what others it's like to do a whole bottom of it let's see brings out the highlights in a random I mean, I got the edge right there under the horn, which I can't point out because I have this instead of a pointer. Got a little L shape right here. So that goes up and again, so you can just see the difference between what was a, what the original image sort of was, and with him in it. You can bring up the soft light and actually bring down the fill. 
bit. Yeah, it looks it looks good. I don't think I'm gonna tweak it too much more. Otherwise, I'm just in an hour just doing something that it doesn't really need. So, all right. Well, there's our finished image. I'm going to close that. Let's uh, duplicate this and duplicate image. So, I'm gonna save the PDF. Creature nine. Save this one here. I'm gonna flatten it, and we're gonna save it as a JPEG. We're good. There's there's our image playing with uh, Ron's acrylics, and there's a, like I said, there's a couple more I wanna I wanna do. I really like some of the uh, you know it's just it's abstract, and I ca see things in it that aren't necessarily there. And you know, see, see things in a couple of them. Like this one could actually even be preview plane here, so we can get a bigger image. And it could even be a figure kneeling. And like I, I saw a couple with faces. This one here, definitely here. You know, this could be somebody underwater that's dropped on them. You can see it kind of flowing over two sides. This one I already showed you the skulls I did. One here almost looks like it's got skulls already already in it. So that'd be another neat one. Or just, you know, a real sudsy look. I mean almost could make a marble looking stone out of this image here but uh, that's going to be it for for today i mean i can show you these all day long all you gotta do is go to the website and check them out so thanks for viewing